Hi friends, I'm Erica from the marketing department and it is time for your field trip. We are of course doing Facebook field trips every day at 1130. We know a lot of your little ones at home had their field trips canceled this year and we hate to see kids miss out on wildlife. So every day at 1130, we've been coming to you live from somewhere here in the zoo, different animals, you meet different keepers, we get behind the scenes all the good stuff. So we have people tuning in. Thank you so much for being here. I want to say hi over there to our folks on Instagram as well. Don't forget all of these videos live on Facebook and you can also catch them at our YouTube channel as well if you just type in Utah's Hogle Zoo. So we have a really exciting field trip plan for you today. Did you guys watch the video? Did you watch that video we posted on Facebook? If you did not, you'll go back after this field trip and check it out. But we're about to introduce you to Pepper. But first, let's introduce you to one of our awesome animal care team members, Kieran. Let me here zoom in here just a little bit. How are you, my friend? Good. How are you guys? Thank you so much for socially distancing with us. I actually like to call it physical distancing because we need each other, right? Right. But you get to take care of little primates. I do. And I want you to step on over to that glass and look. Oh, look. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Tell us who we have here. So this is Pepper, our newest colobus monkey. Um, she is about five and, a five and a half months old now. Five and a half months old. Oh my goodness. Now she has a really interesting story. So some folks, we posted a little video about her on Facebook. So some folks might be up to speed, but do you want to kind of give us, give us her backstory here? Yeah. Uh, most of you might not have seen Pepper yet, and that's because um, when she was born, uh, Sophia, her mother, uh, one of the primates in this enclosure, uh, she was Sophia. a- Sophia, can we see her? Sophia she, is- Is she straight ahead over there? That is Sophia on the stairs, right to your right oh, below so Pepper. Oh, so she's down here, okay. So there's Sophia, so that's mama. So Sophia was a first time mom, um, and unfortunately she, uh, <laughs> didn't care for Pepper, so we had to step in and uh, be her caretakers while she was kind of getting um, growing and kind of learning how to be a monkey. So we had to teach her for the first few months of her life. Um, and now she's at the point where we're able to have her in the exhibit full time and she's kind of socializing with all the other uh, colobus monkeys in there, which is great, we love to see. So I want to jump in here because um, I think you understated it just a little bit when you said we had to step in and be your caretakers. This is a massive undertaking for animal care and it's a massive commitment for the zoo. This is literally 24 seven round the clock care from you guys, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, right from when we took her into our care, we had to start getting her bottles every two hours, uh, which does mean round the clock care. That means we're sleeping overnight at the zoo with her 24 seven. So there was always someone with Pepper for the first few months of her life. This was Thanksgiving, this was Christmas, this was New Year's. All we those holidays awesome we had to have someone. So now we're getting great questions about the species. So first of all, let's, let's talk about Mama Sophia. She just wasn't that interested in being a mom? Yep, that's unfortunately it does happen with first time moms. So um, very well, the next baby she gets, she'll do, be a great mom. That happens a lot of the times. Uh, with um, primates and other species. The good news is though, we have a couple aunties who live in here and they've sort of stepped in and picked up some of that slack. That's right, we have um, Dahlia, who is our little girl, who is oh, on the yeah, hammock over we, here. That's okay, we're gonna try, avoid the peacock poop as we wander through here. So this is Dahlia. That's Dahlia, and then over by Pepper is uh, Violet, and those two have no relation to Pepper whatsoever. They were actually brought in from uh, the Oregon Zoo in Portland, and they've actually done a great job of doing what's called alloparenting. Um, so it just kind of means they step in and they also help take care of the young. Uh, they would do this in the wild and they're doing a great job here. So you'll see Pepper actually uh, seek them out for comfort. You'll see uh, them being held, or uh, Pepper being held by them. Um, which is always great to see because that's, that's something what we wanted right because pepper used to turn to you guys for comfort and What we want her to do is turn toward her troop. Yep, and that was a hard um, Sorry guys, I turned to look at Kieran and then <laughs> I moved my camera That was a hard step for uh, both animal care as well as pepper because pepper Basically her whole life was being taken care of by humans So we had to take a step back and we had to really push her to want to seek comfort from uh, the adult colobus here 
Um, so that meant uh, having her in there full time while we only fed her her bottles through the mesh. She is still receiving bottles uh, every couple of hours. So we're starting the process of weaning her uh, away from the bottles. And then we've had a lot of people asking what does she eat then after she's done with the bottle? So she gets primarily those uh, bottles of formula and then she likes to eat a lot of cooked soft veggies. So carrot and sweet potato. She loves greens. So the same food that we give these adult colobus, so spinach and kale and romaine, uh, she's also eating uh, that food when she's on exhibit with them. So sometimes she'll even snatch it out of the hand from uh, some of the other ones. Now then... we did have a good question that I think was also part of your hand raising challenge is, is there a hierarchy with colobus monkeys? And when you're bringing a new baby in to meet Sifu, our big male, we needed her to kind of look like a colobus monkey, right? Tell us about their coloring and that sort of thing. And by the way, again, if you go back and watch last night or this morning's Facebook video, you'll see her um, back when she was a little white monkey. Tell us about that. So when she was born, she was uh, ghost white. She's all white, and that's how they start their um, coloration when they're born. And then just kind of as she's getting older, you do start to see that other coloration come in. So you kind of see the face start to darken. She gets that like cape-like um, black on the back of her back. Uh, she starts getting that longer hair that you see the adults having. So she's still obviously very little, has a lot to grow, and even some more coloration to bring in. Now, which monkey's sitting over there by her who just walked away? Which one was that? That is Violet. So that's Violet. And then Big Daddy's in here somewhere, right, Sif Sifu? Sifu is, looks like he's on the... S is he hanging <laughs> down there? Because what is he doing down there? He's just kind of hanging on for dear life right there, it looks like. Uh, that's <laughs> how you is. see them resting. These guys um, are very inactive because oh, they spend a lot oh, of their time oh, oh. Uh, digesting. She saw you. <laughs> so Did that's I one of the things you? is when, uh, when so, so, uh, some of the keepers are up here, she does run up. So we do try to take a step back so we don't want her just immediately running to us. Again, that's one of the hard parts because we spent so much time putting all this energy into taking care of her. We all love her so much, but we obviously... It's hard. Yeah. It's like having to let your baby cry to sleep or right, something. Yeah. And you just, your heart can't really take it. Now, is she coming over to say, oh, hi, I remember you? Or does she think you're going to pick her up? Or Because she doesn't seem troubled. She just seems more excited to see you. She's also still just trying to figure out... Um, what you're doing out here. What I'm doing up here because <laughs> most of the time we're down there by the uh, doors with her. Um, so... It's good and it's bad because we do want her to get used to seeing all of these people up right. here uh, on the boardwalk when they come in uh, see Pepper. Um, and by seeing us, that kind of does help desensitize her to uh, really all the people. Everyone's saying puppy eyes, puppy eyes, puppy eyes. And that makes it all the harder to uh, ignore her when she is crying, is Aww. those very, those big eyes. very big eyes. Now tell us a little bit about, we did a zoo brew, I think it was last summer, um, where the species we were highlighting were the colobus monkeys. Tell us a little bit about their faces, because a lot of people look at their faces and think, oh, they're sad, but they're actually not. Yeah, we actually had a fun little, um, I guess you could say, uh, signage for that zoo brew talking about resting colobus face, because these colobus, <laughs> people assume they have this sad expression all the time, but they actually have a lot less uh, facial muscles than we do as humans. So that's just their resting colobus face. So uh, we encourage people to kind of give their best resting colobus face, comparing them to uh, these guys. Do you want me to ask you to give us your best? I can, I can try. <laughs> Let me flip this camera around. We'll see if, if, let's see your best resting colobus face. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, you guys. <laughs> just trying to relax I'm that face. I'm not going to do it because I do a terrible, serious face on purpose. I never can. When uh, people try to take your photo and they make you try to be serious, I, I'm always smirking. Now, how, so Pepper's five and a half months. Do you know how much she weighs? You guys were weighing her often when yep. you were hand raising her. We are still weighing her daily. That's really important for us to know for how much she needs in terms of formula and other solid foods. So her weight this morning was 1,340 grams, which is just under three pounds. Oh, I'm glad you did the math for us. <laughs> so just under three pounds. Oh, I see movement down here. Let's take look. There we are. Um, let's see. We had some great questions. Oh, first of all, I do want to mention, somebody asked if we have a Venmo account. Thank you so much for thinking of ways to support the zoo. We do have donation pages set up on our website. 
You guys, this is a hard time for us to be closed this time of year because this is what kicks off our busy season. So getting this rush of spring zoo goers is really what helps float us through the bulk of the year. So this is a really tough time for us. We're trying really hard um, to make sure we're still bringing you your wildlife. We want the kids to get their field trips, but we also need you to think about us as well. So there's a lot of ways you can support the zoo at our website, hogelzoo.org. Um, but I do want to highlight a fun thing that I think is pretty amazing. Maybe we'll have Hannah. She's in our little marketing group here. I want to show you, we have a, our zoo art director, Jameson Weston. He's been at the zoo for 28 years and he has drawn, so here's Sifu. So that's gorgeous. You can get the original, it's in plastic, so if you could see it, you could get the original for 250. You can get a print for 25. We have pretty much all the animals. So we have polar bear, we have tiger, we have um, otters. You can go to our website, hookalzoo.org. Oh yeah, see, a perfect likeness. That's Pepper's dad. She's like, Dada. Is that Dada? See if she likes Dada. Oh, is that Dada? She's like, Who are you? She's like, hey, they belong in here. Oh, look, they're all coming up. Kieran, which one just popped up here? That is Dahlia. So Dahlia, you guys, that look familiar? This is enrichment. We didn't run this by Didi, but I hope she's okay with us doing Colobus enrichment. You guys, the artwork is amazing. Jameson's a wonderful, um, he's a wonderful artist. And like I said, he's worked at the zoo for so long that he really captures, I think, the personality of that. Look, they love, look at that, look. Look at her nose. They're staring right at it. Who is it? He, is he so handsome? That's Sifu. Yeah. Is that your boyfriend? I think she wants a basic one. I think you guys, you might want to go to hogelzoo.org and buy one because this is amazing she enrichment. <laughs> she wants to wallpaper the exhibit in there. Yeah, that is adorable. Sifu is super, super handsome. That is so fun how they <laughs> love that. So you guys, that artwork's available at hogelzoo.org. This is actually also a great time for you to consider buying uh, tickets that you can use later in the year. Maybe now's a good time to renew your membership. Now might be a good time to, you know, gift um, tickets to someone. So please keep the zoo in mind. And again, any and all donations are, are very welcome right now while we're closed. So, um, Kieran, Chloe wants to know what Pepper likes to eat. So you said she kind of likes her leafy greens and produce, right? That she does. Um past few months we've been slowly kind of experimenting with different solid foods and she really likes her cooked carrots uh, she really likes kale and she really likes spinach those seem to be her favorites the past few weeks at least now you have a little Anna who wants to know if they're lonely uh, well these guys live in uh, big troops or big families so right now there's five of them in here and they're all really social with each other so they do a great job you can see Dahlia here is kind of uh, investigating Pepper um, these two are really close and it's really great because Dahlia is the daughter of Violet uh, and they came to us from that zoo in Oregon. Uh, Dahlia is only a, a little under two years old, but she's so already Dahlia doing... Dahlia is still pretty young and playful. She is very young and you can see she's obviously smaller than the uh, other adults, but she does a great job of playing with Pepper. You'll sometimes see her grab her and hold her and run off with her, which is pretty cute to see. Uh, oh my goodness, people are falling madly in love. Uh, someone wants, Shana wants to know if they eat meat. Uh, they don't really eat that much eat. They'll eat the occasional insect and stuff like that. But for the most part, these guys will eat uh, mostly uh, greens, some fruit, and some veggies and stuff like that. Shawna, you're lucky. She says Pepper and I have the same diet. Not me. I'm all on <laughs> Easter candy. I'm on Easter candy quarantine diet. So Shauna's doing better than I am. So, um, yes. Animal art, you guys, also available at the website, hokelzoo.org. Look how many so cutes you're getting for the colobus. You guys are falling madly in love. Sometimes I think we can breeze through primate forests a little faster than we should. And these guys are hanging out waiting to say hi. Now, Amy wants to know if they, what kind of enrichment do they get? Do they get fun toys and different things like that? Yeah, I mean, if you look around the exhibit, you can kind of see some things. Uh, we do like to give them... Uh, different manipulative enrichment. Today was sensory, so they got some wind chimes just outside their door. So they can't grab the wind chimes, but we have a little fan going on it, so it's creating uh, some sensory noises for them. Uh, the other day they got some PVC, and we put some, uh, hid some food treats in there for them. So it's always something different every day that they get to. Uh... Well, he is fogging up the glass down here. <laughs> 
We're getting a lot of people wondering about their tails. Are they prehensile tails? And talk to us about prehensile tails. So these guys are old world monkeys. Uh, they come from Africa. Um, and then new world monkeys are going to be the ones that typically have that prehensile tail. So these tails are not prehensile. They are just very long, um, very beautiful tails. Um, but it's the new world monkeys like our spider monkeys and our howler monkeys that live in primate forests. They have those prehensile tails that they can use for grabbing objects. Oh my gosh, I don't want to end this video because I just want to hang out down here and watch these two all day. Are there any family monkeys in this exhibit? Yes, some of these are related. Am I zoomed in or zoomed out all the way? There we go. So in here we've got Sifu is our big male and he's our only male in this exhibit. And Sophia. Is that normal, like one male per troop? Typically for okay. uh, these colobus monkeys, that's going to be uh, normal, um, is kind of one in charge male. There might be a few subordinates or younger males uh, that would eventually have to leave the troop. I think Dahlia doesn't like sharing the attention, hi right, baby. <laughs> hi baby. Dahlia was the, uh, the youngest and getting all the attention before Pepper came, so it's, it's a little understandable. Oh. It's that Marcia, older Marcia, sister. Marcia, huh? <laughs> Pepper, pepper, pepper. Um, yeah, so some people are asking about their faces. We talked about that. They actually have fewer uh, facial muscles, so that's why they kind of look more, I guess, somber. I, I think the word I think stoic. they look right. Yeah, stoic. Very <laughs> stoic. A um, couple questions of do they like to play? Oh, these guys love to play. So um, they just ate. So you can see some of the adult females are kind of resting. Well, this is me. This is me on my <laughs> quarantine diet. Shauna, Easter, Robin eggs. But you can see Pepper just went over to Sifu, and now yeah. Dahlia is running over. So Dahlia and Pepper being younger, they're very playful with each other. So she's loving up on Daddy Sifu. Yep. And he looks like he's fine with her. Has he been uh, pretty accepting of her? Yeah, he's been, of he's been doing great. That was our big worry when we were starting introductions, because in the wild, um, a male that has a new female enter into his troop, he might, act, he might kill those younger yeah, he doesn't um, want to raise someone else's yeah, kid. Yeah, he doesn't right? want to raise them, and then that way the female will go uh, be able to breed again. So He looks real gentle. Is she picking at his nose? So look these guys are very okay. social, so they do a lot of grooming. Uh, and that also is a, kind of a hierarchy thing. Like so pinching him. <laughs> <laughs> so Sifu typically gets to be groomed by everyone because he's in charge, and then That's not a bad life. all the females are kind of grappling for who gets to groom who or who gets groomed. So. Donna, thanks for joining in. Pepper, five and a half months old. She's our brand new uh, black and white colobus monkey. You're looking at her dad, Sifu, right here. And we just have to give major props right now to our animal care team. You guys, these folks gave up all their holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, to come in here and hand raise this baby, baby colobus, because the mom rejected it, which you said can be common in primates for first time moms. It's kind of like they're not sure what to do yet. And so our animal care team is the best around, and it's just through their um, dedication, love, and commitment that we have this adorable, I'm trying to, you guys, they move so fast. I don't want to get scolded for bad, uh, bad camera work here. So yes, we are doing these Facebook field trips every day. Every day at 1130, we're kind of taking you out and about in the zoo and highlighting a different species, getting to know the animal a little bit better, getting to know some of our zookeepers. They have a split on two different shifts. So we've broken into team A and team B. What's been fun for me is I see my coworkers watching from home and we're missing you guys. So the team A folks are missing team B and we're trying to make sure we're keeping our distancing and um, being really safe so that we can all get back to life as normal. We're anxious to open up the zoo and get you guys back up here because it is a quiet, lonely place with that voice. She is fun to watch. <laughs> you guys, I can't stop the video right now. You know this, right? Not that they want me to, of course. Look at her. Oh my goodness. Everyone wants to come back to the zoo. You guys, thank you. We do want you to come back to the zoo and we want you to support the zoo this time if you can. You can go to hogelzoo.org. We have donation pages set up. You can also buy some of that amazing artwork. Um, we have at bulb animal art and some of those um, beautiful drawings that our art director, Jameson Weston, has done. He's worked up at the zoo close to 30 years, so he knows these animals well, and not only are they gorgeous drawings of these species, but he captures their personality as well. So you guys, make sure you spread the word. The Facebook field trips live on our Facebook page. You can also catch them on YouTube. I just, I can't stop this right now. So if someone has more questions for Kieran while he's out here, otherwise I'm gonna have to let him go to lunch. <laughs>
So you're looking at our family of Colobus. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please spread the word and then, oh my gosh, look at her. This is Pepper, five and a half months old. Gotta get another good close up. Watching from Colorado, Utah is my state, home state. Been to the zoo many times, thanks for tuning in. Pepper is adorable, you guys. There's just not a better word for it. Is Pepper's mom still in the exhibit and how does she act towards Pepper now? So Pepper's mom is just to the right here on the stairs, she's resting. Um, and you know, when we were doing, uh, when she was first born, we did try multiple reintroductions so we could, cause that's obviously the first option that we would like. We want mom to take the baby cause it's better for them growing up and it's um, a lot easier on animal care cause we don't have to do round the clock care for them. Um, but we tried a few times and unfortunately Sophia just wasn't taking to it. Um, but she does uh, stay in the exhibit with her. Um, they don't interact too much. She really interacts with Violet and Dahlia, her aunts, and she does a great job of um, seeking comfort from them because she understands that Sophia isn't who she gets comfort from. It's uh, the other ones. The aunties. You said though she might be an awesome mom next time, right? Very so possible, sometimes yep. the second time around they, they kind of learn some. So we have done rhinos, you guys. All these Facebook field trips live on our Facebook page. You can also catch them at uh, YouTube. Yes, I'm seeing your many requests for tiger. Here's a hint, coming up soon. Um, and we'll keep doing these every day uh, as long as we're closed. So again, donate to your zoo, hugglezoo.org. We got the question, what sound do they make? Oh, this is your time to spotlight. <laughs> Gonna flip this around so we can kind of sound in a call of this monkey's made. Uh, these guys are pretty vocal, so they can get real loud. Um, but they'll also do, I guess, some some mouth clicking and grunts. So they'll kind of just stare at each other, and go, <laughs> and then they'll kind of do some some low like like uh 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 grunts. <laughs> <laughs> See, you guys, right? Is that pretty good? <laughs> How about some thumbs up for Kiran? He's done. Uh, what sound does a colobus make? And he's done his resting colobus face. So we're very, very proud of him. He's an asset to our animal care team. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I am so sorry to break you away from this. Facebook field trips every day at 1130. Make sure you spread the word. You can catch them here on Facebook or on YouTube. Don't forget to support your zoo, hogelzoo.org. Lots of great ways. Let me, have, let me see that artwork again because Jay drew this and you could own it and donate to your zoo. This is Sifu. You can get the original uh, for 250 or prints for 25 bucks. Great gift, great way to support your zoo. Thank you, Kiran. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you, Colobus Troops. Hope you guys are up here soon so you can stop by and visit Pepper for yourself. If you missed the video, we posted it last night or this morning on her whole story of, uh, of the hand raising that our animal care team did. So thanks guys, stay safe out there. We'll see you tomorrow.